If you haven't yet heard of the video game Abandoned or its creator studio Blue Box Games, let me quickly get you up to speed. Back in April, PlayStation showed off the first teaser trailer for this mysterious game, an unusual but not unprecedented move for what at first glance looks like a small indie horror game. It didn't take long for rumours to start to form that Abandoned, Blue Box Games, and its creator, San Cameron, might not actually exist, and could all potentially be the fabricated construction of none other than the legendary, enigmatic game designer, creator of the Metal Gear Solid series, Hideo Kojima. Now if that rightfully sounds completely bonkers to you, I don't blame you. Why would anyone think an accomplished professional developer such as Hideo Kojima would go to the trouble of such an elaborate ruse? Well, he's done it before. To promote his newest game, Metal Gear Solid 5, Kojima did what every savvy marketer was doing back in 2012. He created a fake company called Moby Dick Studios, invented a fictional company head called Joakim Mogren, and set to work on building a fake game and fake trailer in order to trick the world. The charade went as far as a sit-down interview with the well-known games industry figure Jeff Keighley. Eventually this all culminated in Joakim Mogren's shocking unmasking where he turned out to be none other than Hideo Kojima himself. Given all that you can begin to understand why a new studio no one has ever heard of before having this big reveal with PlayStation raised a few eyebrows. The rumours gained momentum and it wasn't long before Blue Box Game Studios were forced to put up an official statement and do a series of interviews to stress that they had no association with Hideo Kojima and they were of course a real studio. After this statement everyone felt a little silly, the rumours disappeared overnight and the game called Abandoned faded back into obscurity. That is, until just a few days ago, when Blue Box posted the following image to Twitter promising an app that would be available on June 20th, later revised to June 22nd, which would allow people to experience an in-game trailer of the game. This is not normal, to say the least, and not usually how gameplay trailers are debuted. From there, Blue Box implied that Abandoned may not be the game's real title, and hinted the true title began with an S and ended with an L, at which point the internet once again went insane. A game that starts with S and ends with L immediately made gamers think of the famous horror franchise Silent Hill. Fans have been waiting patiently for a new entry in the series since its last entry back in 2012. For a time it seemed fans would get their wish when a mysterious horror demo known only as PT appeared on the PlayStation Network, which ending revealed it as a new entry in the franchise entitled Silent Hills. Who released this teaser you ask? It was yet another fictional game studio, set up by Hideo Kojima. Did you like it? The teaser was incredibly well received and was downloaded over a million times, but Silent Hill sadly was not to be. In 2015 it was announced the game had been cancelled following a public falling out between Kojima and the IP owner of Silent Hills, Konami. The demo was removed from the PlayStation Network and it gained a cult fan status. All of this to say, if Blue Box Games are a real studio, and back in April they were the victims of a misunderstanding implying a connection between them and Hideo Kojima, which they were forced to publicly rebuke, why on earth would they then, months later, lay out such a heavy-handed tease that their game was actually Silent Hill, when that name has now become so synonymous to Kojima? It is very possible that Blue Box Games are indeed a real studio, and they've now decided to take advantage of the hype that formed back in April to try and market their game. But now the circus has been reopened, and actually, a number of odd coincidences have been discovered. Firstly, it was discovered if you take Hideo Kojima's first name, Hideo, 
and translate it from Japanese to Turkish, you get Karaman, the last name of the supposed head of Blue Box. Hazan Karaman has an Apple Store profile with a bunch of small games, including one called Go Fit XL, which is described as a personal training program, or PT for sure. In the original trailer for Abandoned, an oddly placed tree blocks a section of graffiti. The two letters that are blocked by it, PT. Hassan also has a YouTube channel called 2727. Silent Hills was officially cancelled on the 27th of April. Hassan also has a PSN account which has exactly 1,238 trophies. The same number that was featured in the title of a Japanese Silent Hill commercial. It's all getting a bit much, isn't it? This isn't a comprehensive list, but we'd be remiss not mentioning that Kojima himself released a trailer only a few days ago for the director's cut of his newest game, Death Stranding. In the trailer, we see the main character, dressed in blue, climbing into a box. Jeff Keighley, the games industry figure we mentioned earlier, who is not only friends with Kojima, but actually helped him set up his previous elaborate ruse, has now commented on the situation a few times. He appeared in a video, smiling, saying he had had contact from the Blue Box studio, asking for his assistance in revealing the game, later elaborating by saying he doesn't think that this is what we think it is, and that he is soon to reveal more photos from further contact he has with them. The situation is ongoing as this video is recorded. Jason Schreier, well-known video game journalist, has been investigating and at first was 100% convinced this was Kojima, but has since said he's no longer sure. We at Ugly Sofa Gaming have done a little digging of our own, however, and on the darkest corners of the internet, we have uncovered what we believe to be a secret cache of leaked footage from near the end of 2020, which confirms everyone's wildest theories. Firstly, good news for everyone who enjoyed Kojima's first interpretation of Silent Hills, especially his casting choice of Norman Reedus. We found a piece of artwork which clearly confirms Norman is still in the game and what looks to be an unfinished in-game model. More surprising is this almost reverent piece of artwork of Kojima, confirming Kojima himself may be in the game. Kojima has appeared in his own games before. Could he possibly be the tenacious, all-knowing monster that is hunting you for the foggy streets of Silent Hill? The cache of footage contains what are also clearly unfinished builds of PT in various stages of development. At one point we see originally, players would be able to gain access to the second floor of the infamous hallway. In this later build, we see a version of the game much closer to the one we know, although in this version Lisa was not the main character's spectral ghastly wife who doggedly stalks you but instead a disgruntled Alice Cooper fan who can be seen headbanging despite the fact there is no music playing. Finally, we see some footage which I believe may be from an old build of what must be the new Silent Hill game. Over the Norman readers, there is also a second female character we play as and we seemingly switch between first and third person views. While the gameplay does show usual Kojima staples like amazing attention to detail in the gun cocking and reload animations, it's this footage which is giving me some doubts that the game really is being made by Kojima. After all, the female character is fully dressed, and when I look at her I feel ashamed of neither my words nor my deeds. If you are genuinely interested in finding out more about the Blue Box Kojima mystery, keep your eyes peeled for further Death Stranding Director's Cut details, which are meant to be revealed in the coming weeks. 
or check out the mysterious gameplay trailer app Blue Box are apparently releasing on the 22nd of June. While we can't say for certain that the footage from the cache we discovered is definitely from Blue Box Studios, Hideo Kojima, or even a secret Silent Hill game, I for one am really struggling to think where else it could be from. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. We are Ugly Sofa Gaming and we upload new videos every day from Dreams. If you like our content, please hit the subscribe button, like the video or leave a comment. Share the video in your favourite corner of the internet. Any one of those things really helps us out. Thank you very much.